morning, Aloha Friday. Um, what a beautiful day today. After all these crazy winds, we have a beautiful blue sky. Um, we have Nathan, welcome Nathan today, um, Nathan Bernard, and um, he's going to be talking about VA home loans for the luxury market. Um, Nathan um, grew up in a military family and his father was in the military for 20 years, so we can appreciate the challenges someone goes through relocating for a, a home and um, he understands the struggle, you know, that um, he went through and other families do with having to move during the military. But the emphasis on today's uh, talk with him is, I just discovered this week that people can purchase multi-million dollar homes with zero down, 100% financing with VA. Uh, this was actually um, started in January this year. And I think very few people know about this and I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. Um, but before I welcome Nathan's uh, presentation here today, I just wanted a little quote like we do every Friday and um, you can reflect on this in any part of your life. And it's something that goes like this. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. And if you think about that and anything you've achieved in your life, personally or professionally, that's pretty much what it comes down to is that self-discipline. Anyway, on that note, um, Nathan, welcome today. And um, pretty much, um, I'm just going to, you you know, I really want to talk about the Luxury Homes VA Jumbo Mortgages and how it works and what the rates are, what people should be um, preparing for, what they shouldn't be doing with their finances if they want to qualify for a loan like this. And um, I'm going to pretty much let you talk about this and I may have a few questions as you uh, tell us about this exciting program. Welcome. Sure. Thank you, Karan. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, VA Jumbo product. Easy once you get your head around it. Um, the normal loan limit is seven hundred and sixty-five thousand six hundred. In January first, twenty twenty, the president passed a new law getting rid of the entitlement limits. Um, so basically, there is no entitlement cap as long as you have full entitlement on your VA certificate of eligibility. So if you've never used it, you have no limit. If you have used it, but you either sold that property or refinanced it out of a VA, then you get your entitlement back, then you have no limit. Uh, if you have a current VA loan and portion of your entitlement is already used up, then you are subject to the old rules. So 765 is still your cap. If you go over that, you're responsible for 25% of the difference on the overage. So that's kind of how it works now. So with the VA jumbo luxury market, there is no limit. So we're off and running full speed ahead. Um, you can get 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. We've, we've had clients approved up to 9 million. It all depends. Everybody's kind of uh, client specific on their actual approval. Same thing on the approval as a normal uh, VA home loan approval. Uh, we're going to look at their credit, their income, their assets, and their debt. Basically see how much is coming in, how much is going out. That's going to show what you qualify for. Um, pretty easy process as long as we have all the documents, get the application done, all that good stuff. So normal application process. Um, as far as the rates go, they're amazing right now. They may not last like that forever. Obviously, we're in COVID. We're in the election time. There's a lot of kind of uh, turmoil and things happening out there in the world. That affects the market. That affects the rates. Rates right now on our VA Jumbo product is 2.25% at par, meaning no cost, no points to get that rate. So it, it's amazing right now. It really is absolutely and, phenomenal. And, they and again, that's on, that's on for a loan over a million dollars, right? Right, exactly. 2.25%, um, that's amazing. It, it, it is unheard of. It, it really is, especially with having no cost to get it, right? No points, no, no anything to get that rate. Again, it might not last for too much longer, but we are there right now. Uh, as of today and you know previous so pretty good very good um and then how it works in hawaii again same stuff as long as the the property is in good condition the va appraiser is going to go out they're going to do their inspection they're going to assess the value they're going to assess if there's any health and safety issues and that it meets all of the va minimum property requirements so as long as the house is, is good to go pretty much turnkey you know not a tear down or fixer up or stuff like that your normal uh, considerations 
on, on conforming versus jumbo, pretty much again, going to be the same. Uh, unpermitted structures, they're going to be looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, but again, when you're in the luxury multi millions, usually we don't have too many problems with the, uh, the VA appraisal. So it shouldn't be uh, too many issues on that. Um, what works and doesn't work as far as the client. So again, we're going through a normal approval. So credit is important. Assets in the file is very important. Basically showing that you have reserves to make mortgage payments. Um, you know, say you lose your job, say um, something comes in from the state with COVID and you can't go to work for a few months. They want to see reserves that you have the ability to repay that mortgage uh, month to month basis. Usually, I don't know, maybe three to six months, something like that in reserves is, is always helpful for the file. Um, as you, as a client, if you're preparing, you know, to get into this, you, again, you want to make, you, you, oh, one thing I do want to mention, you do have to have credit scores over 700. Um, so have to have that in order to go over a million on the, uh, on the VA loan. Um, so credit scores, definitely important. Prepare for that. Make sure uh, you're doing the right thing with your credit, paying your bills on time. Your credit score is always increasing. Again, normally uh, we don't really have too many issues. The people that are in the multi-million uh, price range are going to be fine with credit. They, uh, they have everything normally handled on that. Um, what else? Anything else, Karan? Well, can you think of some situations where it got a little tricky to get financing for a luxury home through VA? Something that you thought may go through, but it required you, you know, doing a few different things. You know, give us an example of some challenges you've had and how you overcame those. Right. So again, most of the time it's with the actual property rather than the loan side. The loan side is, is you know, we're, we're black and white, we're basic. It's approved or it's not approved. So most of the time it's with the actual property itself. Uh, do you have unpermitted structures? Do you have a, uh, you know, a separate unit on there that needs to be counted uh, as far as uh, is it a, uh, what do they call that? The Ohana unit or it, does it go with the house, all that kind of stuff. So um, property specific situations uh, are usually the, the only times we have issues, but we can usually get around them. Uh, with the unpermitted stuff, we can actually complete the appraisal and complete a VA loan on it, uh, but they won't count value for it. So if you're okay with the value being lowered on the appraisal, okay, then we can disregard, not disregard, but we don't have to count that unpermitted structure against you. We can complete the, the, the appraisal and the loan and then move forward from there. One thing though that the VA does require sometimes is that new buyer before they sell it would sometimes need to get that structure permitted. So we would have that conversation with the client and with VA and see if that is something that would need to be done before they sell it uh, down the line. So sometimes they require it, sometimes they don't. We've seen a little bit of back and forth on that. Well, I, you know, Nathan, I've been doing this for over 30 years. And, you know, I remember, you know, years ago, if someone brought a VA offer, I'd go, oh, my God, I, we don't want to deal with this because right. there's all these challenges and they're not flexible. But my understanding now is VA is incredibly flexible um, with the kind of property that they're working with. Right. Yeah. And, and we had that, you know, we've been teaching, educating and running the VA loans out here for about 15 years in Hawaii. Number one VA lender. This is what we focus on. This is what we do. And we used to have problems, the same issues. You know, the, the a conventional loan is completing a loan on this type of property. Why can't we with VA? It should be a little bit closer to the same. So uh, worked with legislation work with the state, work with VA, and, and finally we're getting these things uh, a little bit more uh, conforming and in line with uh, what everyone else can do as far as that goes. And I know, I mean, you work very closely with Jessica White of our company here, and we are actually um, looking at marketing a property either on the waterfront in Kailua or um, a very beautiful modern home in Kaneohe. And when we were doing our market analysis, you know, there was some very substantial um, sales prices. And then when we looked into it, it was actually a VA buyer. So as a broker right now, it you need to know this information so you can maximize the value of a seller's house. Knowing right. that, for instance, on Kaneohe Marine Base, if an officer was to buy a home, they could buy it with zero down and yet they get this beautifully brand new home. You know, the last sale in the area might have been an older house for 1.1, but this home is magnificently um, built 
and probably would get about 1.92 million and they could buy that. And oftentimes because of the low rate, the 2.25%, it's less expensive for them to buy than it is for them to rent. And I, I see that happening in the market right now. Right, yeah, and, and we have a lot of clients, you, you, they'll have the rental analysis and then when we get into contract, we get them locked in and we show them the rates, it's like, wow, this right up yeah. the my mortgage is less than what I could potentially rent it out for in a few years when I have to leave, you know, we're planning for that exit strategy. So yeah, they're getting, they're getting, you know, just set up so well right now in the beginning nice. with the original purchase, they don't have to do future refinances, all that good stuff. So it's just, it, it's just stacking just to get better and better for these clients as we move forward. Yep. Yeah. And I, I think it's such a wonderful program for you know, veterans who've, you know, given up so much of their life to travel and protect the country. And, um, you know, and I, I, what I see the issue now is letting, having people know about this program. Right. And that's why when I found out about this, I'm having you on today. It's just amazing because if somebody puts 5% down, say on a jumbo mortgage, which is a luxury home, um, well, it's not really, it's about, was it above 750 now, a jumbo mortgage? 765, yep. 765. But then you've got the mortgage insurance, right? Right. So how much, say, if we say a million, million point five house, the mortgage insurance on something like that would run roughly what per month? Probably anywhere between five, seven hundred a month, something like yeah, that. Five, seven hundred so a month. It, it, it's a big chunk on your mortgage. Yeah, absolutely. And what are the ratios they're using, um, you know, for qualifying, you know, on this 100 percent VA um Jump over. Right. So your normal uh, conforming loan limits, uh, you can almost go up to about 60% on debt to income ratio. Now, on Jumbo, they do want it to be a little bit less. So maybe 55, 50%. Again, it's kind of case, case basis on the client's credit scores, income, their assets. So each one is a little bit different. It depends on that client's approval specific on what we can go up to as far as DTI goes, but they do have it a little bit less than normal conforming. So I would say about 50, 55, depending on the client specific, uh, you know, statistics and all that. Nice. And how many, I mean, how many loans are you doing each month? Do you feel in the jumbo mortgage category right now? Um, good amount. I mean, uh, myself specifically, probably about three or four months, but as our branch, uh, we're located in NYPO as a whole, I would say 15 to 20. Um, we've got some, some other loan officers out here that kind of focus, um, you know, with those officer clientels, their previous military themselves. So they have that um, mm -hmm. and, and, and talking points. So yeah, I would say about 15, 20 uh, a month, nice. okay. uh, pretty, pretty easily as a branch. Yeah. You know, and I know um, some local banks these days, you know, they, they're they not doing VAs like they used to and all specializing in it because it does require probably a certain different paper trail of things. And um, is that your number one loan you're doing or you're doing other Absolutely. loans right now? It's your number yeah, one. No, yeah, no, it's it, we're probably 95 to 98% VA and, and the rest, yeah. HA, USDA conventional. This is what we focus on. We have uh, plenty of products. Our, our system is built for VA. We go through processing, underwriting, and loan officers in the, in the VA mindset. So we know exactly how to close a VA loan. If there's a way to close a VA loan, we will find it and we will get it done for sure. How about, I just thought of something, someone got a VA loan, you know, five years ago and they want to refinance. Can they refinance with a VA loan? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so they can refinance from conventional to VA if they have the eligibility. Uh, the benefits there is to get rid of your PMI if you still have it. Uh, again, take advantage of the better rates, stuff like that. Yeah. If they have a current VA loan, um, they do a cash out or a streamline is what most of them do. And that one's just simple. Take the interest rate, drop it to the new lower rate, save money monthly, and then you're off and running from there. So yeah, plenty of uh, refinances uh, available as well. Oh, very nice. Well, Nathan, thank you so much. Uh, this has been very informative. I'm learning something every day. And this was my big <laughs> learning um, tool this week in real estate. And that's what keeps that's me right. in the business so long is there's always things to learn every right. week. <laughs> but what we're going to do is end, we always end our session um, on a Friday with some beautiful photos, Mary and in our company 
takes um, to share what's going on in the community. And this, uh, let me, I'm just going to put share screen on here. Okay, that's it. So she's actually named this called Transition um, this week. And I think, you know, we're approaching the holiday season, of course, and uh, here's a red hibiscus. And this is a reminder that she took a photo that we're headed for the holiday season. And she even mentioned that the giant Santa wearing a mask, believe it or not, is already on top of Ella Moana Shopping Centre. So I look forward to seeing that when I try to buy. But Santa has a mask also. <laughs> um, number, uh, the, then she's got the, um, you know, beautiful flowers here that shower tree blooms for the season, you know, and I know, you know, Doug, my husband's very much into plants and flowers and I'm learning a lot just being married to him and appreciating um, the flora way more. Uh, tourism's here. Um, definitely, I'm seeing more traffic on the road. How about you, Nathan? Are you seeing more traffic on yeah, the road lately? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but we we should embrace that now because we know if it, we don't have traffic, we're in trouble. So I, I'm just grateful that we're getting a little bit of commercial activity, which is great. And of course, the um, sunsets in the rainy season right now, we're all enjoying very much. Um, it's nice to see the rain and everything be so green. And of course, our beautiful sunsets are amazing year round. But again, Nathan, I want to thank you. Um, we're going to have a brochure that Nathan's done at the end of our um, talk here today. So his contact details will be there if you'd like to reach out to Nathan um, to ask for your personal situation. And Nathan, is there anything else you'd like to say finishing off today at all? I appreciate the invite. Uh, again, our a big thing with our company is education. We do seminars ourselves for our clients, for realtors. Uh, we want to get this information out. It is great info. Just like you said, man, I, I just didn't know. I wish I would have known it because it it's valuable. We want to use it, and uh, that's what we're here for. So, anytime uh, you know we can talk to anybody, we will absolutely uh, share the information we have. It's free. We will give it out. That is no problem at all. So I, I appreciate it, Crown. Thank you for having me. Oh, it was a joy having you. Thank you and enjoy your weekend and we'll catch up with you later. Thank you. You as well. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.